And hello, this is Wackasm Plays Flip Town. Sorry. I'm Wackasm. I'll be playing Flip Town again today, solo. Um, I've got a. I already picked my role and picked my cowbot, so we're just gonna get started in a second. Um, if you want a full rules teach, I did a better job of teaching the full game in my last Flip Town video, and I'm sure there's better people on the internet that can really explain the rules if you want to learn it in and out. Um, what I do is I play games solo and record myself doing it. That's about it. I try not to really edit my videos. Um, so what you see is what you get rules mistakes and all so if i make any rules mistakes please leave a comment below or i don't know let me know because it helps me learn when i make mistakes um sometimes i make a lot sometimes i make a little but that's okay I'm trying to hit a, a 100 subscriber goal by the end of the year uh it's a new year so i got a long way to go so if you like what i do or just want to support a small youtuber slash maybe streamer in the future slash person getting their setup together uh hit subscribe all right so i will be playing as the bandit versus billy the kid today um these were randomized but they kind of seem like they actually oppose each other a little bit the bandit actually might make things a little bit harder for me we shall see um the bandit starts with a wanted level and um Actually, it might make it a little bit easier based on their special ability. Starts with seven money and six uh, golds. Special ability for the bandit is once per game, I may take a special spades action and spades is the badlands. So I can go rob something because uh, I'm the bandit. That's pretty thematic. Uh, Billy the Kid, also an outlaw, uh, is a spade cowbot. And uh, basically anytime there's a spade in the lineup, um, they're going to steal a card cards give them points the way that i play i explained it last time but i'll explain it here again is um i don't pre-choose easy normal or hard i just play try to get the best score i can get against the cowbot i evaluate the score and if i win on hard great if not i recalculate for normal if not i recalculate for easy and if not if i don't beat on easy then it's a complete loss uh, this way i can try to beat you know as i play i'll play different combinations and try to beat hard and see which cowbots i've succeeded with and I track it all in BC stats and board game geek and yeah, it's all there. Um, in addition, uh, since I'm playing with a character, they're going to get an additional five points at the end of the game. I am not playing with the Holden variant, so they will not get the five points for that. I'm playing with just the basic poker uh, hand. And lastly, I am playing with the outskirts, uh, which really isn't that great for solo, but I've been including it as an extra challenge. But I am making one tweak to the rules for the outskirts and the rules for solo say that if you play just play with the outskirts even if you don't use it you lose five points i'm gonna lose five points or maybe give the cow butt five points i haven't decided which i'm gonna do yet i'll decide at the end of the game um but i'm gonna only do it if i actually trigger one of the two bounties um for solo for the bounties you only get the reward you don't actually get uh the four points on the cards so this is bounty number one this is bounty number two um so you don't get these little four bounty number one because it's kind of small i didn't blow up these uh, for you to read this is just get any combination of five pins and um the hammers and this is get any four of these icons uh so this combination is kind of weird um but yeah i can get a pen uh a hammer, I can get the horse upgrade, I can get the graveyard upgrade, I can get a gun upgrade, you know, so some of these I'm probably just going to be getting naturally anyway. Um, but if I get this bounty, then um, I get the the two pickaxes upgrade for free and a victory point. And if I get this bounty, um, I'm going to get the bandana upgrade for free and a victory point. Um, so since I'm going to be going to the Badlands a lot this game, you know, maybe I might try to go for this. Uh, so far through my plays, I have not successfully really used the outskirts that much. I feel like not getting the victory points is a big deal for solo. Um, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, 
uh, back to the Cowbots. Um, they love the Badlands, so um, that's Spades. And then their next favorite place is going to be on the trail, then the mine, and then the town is going to be their least favorite place to go. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to be focusing a lot on the Badlands, the trail, a little bit of the mine, a little bit of the town. I'm going to have to go to the town at some point because I need some upgrades. So we'll see how this works. Um, I'm going to quickly give myself the starting resources. So let's turn these guys off and let's switch to the full the full thing here. Uh, what am I trying to do? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to do this. All right. So one more second. I've made a mistake in my layout here. I need to do this. OK, perfect. All right. So I need to give myself seven cash. Let's get that over with one. Whoops. Why are you not writing, sir? OK, let's do this. Oh, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm giving myself one, two, three, four, five, six gold. And then I'm giving myself four wanted to start with. I'm already a known criminal. Um, and then I have to go up here and I have to give myself a sheriff card. And what's the other thing that I have to do? There's something else that I have to do. Why am I brain farting here? Maybe that's it. I just do the sheriff card. I think I just do the sheriff card. All right. So let's get started. Um, so first things first, um, I'm going to do the lineup for the first turn. So the way this works, there's three phases. Shuffle the deck. I did that already. I set aside the sheriff card. I'm going to take five turns. That's going to end up giving me a poker hand of five cards. Um, I'll explain as I go. I'm going to resolve uh, the poker hand. I'm going to pan and work. Sheriff's going to attempt to arrest me. Um, and we'll see how it goes. I haven't started with a high wanted level like this before, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, but anyway, let's see what my three cards are. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so three black cards. Um... So had I gone to town and gambled, I'd be getting a, a victory point star, uh, but I did not do that yet. So uh, let's see. I've been given spades, which as a reminder is the Badlands. I do want to go there, but I don't want to go there yet. And I've also been given the option to go to the town. Inside the town, uh, with the values that I have, I have a five, a queen, or a jack. Um, that means I'm going to be able to go to either... Uh, here, the five, um, the jack, or the queen. Uh, if I go to the jack, I'll get a free mine action, which is not too bad, and I'll get the peek at the sheriff card and lose some wanted level. So I might do that just to get that started. Um, this queen gives me stars. I can victory points. I can pay for it. So I'm definitely not going to go there. Uh, but the other good option is I could right away go here and buy this bandana, but as we mentioned before, I have that outskirts bonus that I might go for. Might try to get that for free just to see if I can do it. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the. Ooh, I can't do the jack. That's actually not good. Hmm. Cannot do the jack. Well, I could if I use gold. I mean, I could start off the bat using my gold right away. But uh, the club is part of the jack here. So if I take. I think Jack has the value. I have to use the queen or the five. So I'm going to use the five. So we're going to do this. We're going to keep the queen as my poker poker card. Um, wait, no, I am blind. Okay, I can do the Jack. So this is what I'm going to do. It's a five of clubs, a Jack of clubs, and a queen of spades. I thought this was a spade. So yeah, I can go to the town. That's what I'm going to do. And I am going to go here to... Uh, this town. I'm going to take this action and get this reward. So this reward is I can peek at the sheriff card and then I can choose to either lose two wanted or I can get a victory point. So we are going to peek first at the sheriff card. Um, I don't know why I keep zooming up so far. All right. So the, the sheriff's card is a seven. So the way the whole sheriff mechanic works is at the end of the round, I usually would usually you don't know what the sheriff card is. But you're going to compare the sheriff card to your wanted level and uh, you can bribe the sheriff to try to get out of it. But basically, if you reveal the card 
and it's greater than or equal to your wanted level, then you do not get arrested. Um, but if it's less than, you know, if, uh, let's say I drew like a two and my wanted level is a four, I would get arrested and I would basically, uh, if you kind of look over here, um, whoops, well, yeah, this whole box right here, but for each round, I meant to do this, point around one. Uh, I would lose either 10 money or I would lose four victory points in, in round one for being arrested. So I have a wanted level of four right here. Um, so I don't have to worry about being arrested because I know it's a seven. So I think I'm just going to take the lose two wanted level right away. So I'm going to oop, oop the wanted level. So now I'm at a wanted level of two. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I'm doing as far as the actual action goes. Um, but the first time that I, I know what's, what's happening, but I still have to take this bonus action. Whenever you go to a store for the first time, you get a bonus action. So I have to take this diamond action now um, if I want to use it. I don't think you can hold it. I could be wrong, but um, so I'm going to go here to the mines and I get to use basically this action as any card value that I want. So first we're going to look at the bottom of this mine just to see which direction might be better for me at the end of the game. Uh, since I'm probably going to be robbing a lot, I think I'm going to aim towards here. I doubt I'm going to get there, but in case I do, I have that as an option, but I am. So I'm going to take this first. And we're going to give myself uh, one uh, gold pen and one gold. So let's take care of that now. So I'm getting one gold and then I'm getting one gold pen, which is down here. And basically that's going to give me one gold at the end of every one of the three rounds during the pen and work phase. But as a reminder, if I get five of these uh, in any combination, I'm going to end up getting the outlaw outskirt bonus. That's going to give me the uh, the bandana for free, which just again, as a reminder, this bandana bonus up here uh, makes me take less wanted level every time I rob something. Again, if you've never played this game before, there's a lot of little things that, you know, I covered last game that I'm not really covering in detail, but the bandana basically is going to this item right here and these items right here are going to help me rob stuff and not take as much wanted level. So I'm going to be aiming for these uh, as the game goes on. Um, but for now, um, that's all I'm doing. So in addition, um, I also got one item towards this bounty. So I guess let's show that this bounty on the right here. It's any four of these items. I got one pan. So I already have one of the four things here. So there's a chance I'll get this just naturally, um, but I'm not really aiming for this one. I am aiming for this one, though, which is the uh, five get any uh, at least five in total combination. So we are aiming for that. Anyway, that is the end of this first turn. So I am going to do the following. I am going to not do that. I keep doing that. Discard these cards and that is it for my first turn. So we're on to turn two. We are going to flip over three cards. One, two, three. Uh, we have another club, which means maybe we can go back to the store and maybe pick up a gun if I have the right numbers. I don't know if I do. Uh, so let's see. I also have a diamond, which is the mines, and I have a heart, which is the trail. The trail is definitely something that we want to do this game as well, because uh, our cowbot friend if we you know, remember his second favorite place is the trail. So Badlands, trail, mine, town. So we're not gonna be going to the town that much this game, but we do have to start at the town a lot. So let's see what we can do in the town first. So if I take the eight, club, eight clubs, I have a four and a two. Uh, the two, whoops. Um, the two is basically like a gamble. Um, lets me bet on red or bet on black. And if I get three of the same color, I can get a victory point. That first turn you saw three black cards came out. So had I had I had this circled, I would have got a victory point in the first round for that. Um, I don't really love that for this game. I mean, I do like the gambling aspect, but I don't know, the cowbots kind of make it a little bit harder to do that sometimes. 
Um, or we have the four. The four gives us, um, we can get a workhorse, which can give us another hammer, um, which could be useful. And we also get to go to the graveyard for free, which should be useful. Um, and then we can also get the trail horse at some point too, uh, which might help us in the trail because we got to do a lot of trail stuff. <laughs> and in addition, um, it helps towards that bounty, that second bounty that we're not really going for. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to let's look at our cards again. So it's the four that I need. So um, if I take the two and the four and give myself the eight of clubs for, for my poker hand, it's going to mean that I'm going to No, I need the eight for the uh, give myself the two of hearts for my poker. hand. so eight of clubs, this is my uh, suit card. This is my value card. So I'll be going to the town with a four, um, which is this space right here, uh, which means I'm going to get this. And then I think I'm going to buy this hammer next. Uh, or I'm going to buy this hammer first. So let's cross this out and give myself a hammer, one victory point, and that's going to cost three money. So um, we're going to go down here. Um, no, we're going over here first to give myself the hammer. And we're going to give myself one victory point. So I have one victory point on the board. And I have to lose three money to do that. So we're going to come over here. And... Uh, that's it. But now I have two items towards that outskirt girl goal to be able to get the mask for free. Uh, so again, uh, could be worth it doing this. I don't know if it's going to pay off. seems like I'm going to have to take like five full actions to get that bonus. So I don't know. I don't know if this is going to pay off or not. I felt like last game, my strategy was a lot clearer. Oh, you know what? Oh yeah. So I totally forgot it hasn't happened. So don't worry about it. But there is, I don't know, I haven't had, the first the first round I had a spade, and had I got a wanted, he would have stolen a card. I did not get any wanted levels, so it didn't matter, but I do. Sh I should probably point out every time I, I pull a spade. Um, and also as a reminder myself, I can't forget that, you know, spades are bad. Um, anyway, back to the town. Um, so that is it for this action. I still get this free visit to um, the cemetery. So we're gonna go to the cemetery and we are just going to um, circle this. Yeah, let's get gold first. No, we want money first, I think. We kind of have a lot of gold to start with. Uh, we're going to go up here. Yeah, and then we also want this free spade. Uh, potentially get this free spade action. So we're going to go here. This is going to give us another free hammer. Uh, so we're going to cross that off. You know what? It's probably easier if I just do it this way. Um, now I am getting a wanted level, but if we look at our cards, um, there was no spade this turn. So this is a, a good time to get a wanted level because they won't steal a card. Um, and then we're going to give ourselves one wanted because anytime you grave dig, you you get a wanted unless you you know make friends with the grave digger. But now I have another hammer, which is going to give me more cash to spend at the end of the round. And that is it for round two. Uh, so let's see where we're at. Uh, that's it. Let's draw some more cards. One, two, three, and boop, boop, boop. All right. So we have a queen. So had I bounty hunted for the queens, I would have had uh, either a lot more money or gold, or I could have gotten rid of my wanted level. But I didn't do that. Uh, but we've seen a jack. We've seen two queens. So we're probably not going to take the bounty option if we get the opportunity, at least for this round. Um, anyway, no spades. So ability kid is not relevant this round. I have yet another town uh, option. I can go to the mines again, or I could go to the trail. So let us see uh, what we want to do. Let's see if there's anything we want to do with either a six or a queen. Uh, we determined that last time that this queen action down here, not really that useful for us, um, but let's see a six. Um, I could pay to lower my wanted level, um, but that's also not that useful right now. It might be useful later, but my wanted level is a three. We know we're going up against a seven. Uh, so 
I don't think I'm going to go to the town this turn. So let's see if I want to go to the mines or if I want to go to... Um, uh, so first, if we go to the trail, um, I can use a six or a three, which means I can take any of these spaces up to the six. I might want to take this. Uh, this might be important to grab soon because we are going to be at the end of the round and it gets me one step closer to getting me that bandana. Uh, so I might just do that. But we do have to remember that the, the bandit likes these spaces, gets three points for every space that I skip. So if I skip this, this first one, he is going to get three points at the end of the game, but it just might be, uh, you know, it just might have to happen. Um, or I can go to the mines and I can immediately go here. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, let's lock that. That's an accident. Um, it's an accident waiting to happen. I could go here and uh, take a free store action anywhere with any value. So let's see, what can I do with any value that's still worthwhile right now to do? I do need a gun. A gun would be really important and I have the money to get a gun. So this might be the time to do that, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do because then that gets me back in the trail. I can do all the things that I wanted to do. <coughs> and <coughs> sorry about the cops. Um, and, and I can try to be very efficient. So this is what we're gonna do. We are going to look at our cards. We are, oh wait, the, the, what values I get might matter to you. So, okay, I have a queen. So a queen here would be really good because I'd get a good poker hand. You know, two queens in my poker hand would be nice. But I need this queen for the mines, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to have a bad poker hand or a worse poker hand and give myself the three. Um, I don't love doing it, but I don't really have a choice if I wanna do this. Uh, that's going to send me to the mines um, with a with a value of queen and that means because it's a queen I could go here which means I could circle this uh, sorry I could do a better circle job there we go all right so that's going to get me a gold and it's also going to get me um, a store action so we're gonna hop over to the store and I can use this store action on any value here that I want. Um, I'm going to choose to go to the nine store and I'm gonna buy this pistol for three, which means that I'm going to lose three money. So let's do that. I have one money left and I am going to give myself uh, a pistol in the Badlands. So I now have a pistol the pistol is going to give me a uh, plus two to all of the cards that I draw when trying to resolve robberies, which I have to start doing because if I don't start doing these, uh, Billy the Kid's gonna get a lot of points. So at some point I gotta go there. I feel like I'm taking a long time to get there, but you know, I guess uh, an outlaw has to build up their tools to be able to do it. Um, but because I went to the store, uh, and I went to the store that gives me a gun, I have the opportunity now to go to the trail for free with any value that I want. So I'm kind of squandering the any value part to this, but it does mean that uh, I can take this and get this one or the other. Um, and I'm going to now take the gold pen because you know, I, actually, I need money still, I think. I'm going to take another hammer. I'm going to take this and cross it out. That does mean at the end of the game, I cannot do this anymore. Um, so I'll do this so you can see it uh, pretty clearly. Um, so at the end of the game, uh, Billy the Kid's definitely getting three points because of that. But I am now almost at... Um, where is it? Sorry. I am almost... At the Outlands bonus and in addition because I have a gun and because I have a hammer and because I have a gold uh, nope I'm, I'm not quite ready to do that so basically if I can get one more hammer or one more gold pan I'm gonna trigger both of the outskirt bonuses so when that happens I'll announce it um, so it's the first time I've ever triggered an Outland bonus we'll see if it's worth it but I'll be able to trigger 
both of them back to back, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, it's the end of this turn. I think I've taken everything, done all the comboing that I can do. Uh, so we're going to draw three more cards and maybe hopefully we can get a, a slightly better poker hand. I did have a pair of queens. If another queen comes out, I'll be sad. But so nothing here good for a poker hand. I do have mine actions or I could go to the Badlands. I'm still holding off and go to the Badlands if I can avoid it. But there is a spade here, which means that if I get one in level in any way, shape or form, um, that would be bad for me because he will steal a card. So um, let's see what I want to do. I think I think I'm not going to go to the Badlands because I do not have the bandana yet. I need the bandana to manage my wanted level and to avoid him taking cards. <coughs> um, I do have a really good mind value for the king, which would let me go down that path and uh, get closer to the one per circled robbery, which would be really good. Um, but I'm going to get a one in level if I do that, because if you look, um, if I take this, where is it? Uh, if I take this right here. Then there's a little water level right there, and we don't want that because I have a spade right now. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to go to the mine, but we're going to go to the mine with a value of four. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to get this. And we're, going to, we're just going to get that bonus taken care of. So we're going to use, so let's, let's go back to our cards here and just figure that out. We are going to use the nine... The diamonds to go to the mine and the value four to go down the left side of the mine. And that is going to give us um, our fourth hammer, which is going to do a bunch of things. Um, it's also going to give us a gold. Um, so I need to cross those off real quick. So I'm not getting any wanted level this turn, um, but I now am going to be triggering both of these bounty levels because this first one's going to trigger. This one says, again, it's hard to see, have at least five in total, any combination of pans and hammers. If this was a uh, multiplayer game, I would get seven points, even though it says four. Uh, the first person to get this bounty would get seven, and anyone else that gets it would get four. Uh, it's kind of one of those like race to your objective things. But again, I do not get the four victory points in solo. It's kind of sad, uh, which is going to trigger this left signpost that's pointing to it, which is going to give me the bandana for free and one victory point. And then when I get the bandana, I'm going to now have four of these. I'm going to have a, a pan, a hammer, a gun, and the bandana, which is going to trigger this one, which is going to give me the uh, the pickaxes for the mine. So I'm going to get two victory points out of this and both of these items for free. All right, let me circle all that right now. So first, I now I'm getting the bandana for free and I'm getting the pickaxes for the mine for free. And then uh, I'm getting two victory points. And that is it. Um, that's it for this turn. So let's clean up. So I'm on the last turn of the round. Hopefully I'll get a card, at least a pair for this uh, poker hand. Um, let's see what I draw. A 10, an ace, or an eight. So I'm not getting anything good for this poker hand. I'm either I'm getting a lot of mine actions or trail actions, and uh, with all of this, uh, there's no spade. So if I get a wand and level this turn, uh, he will not steal a card. So I think what I'm going to do is probably go back to the mine again. Uh, even though I really want to go to the trail, and even though I really want to go to the Badlands, I think I'm going to try to squeeze out my mine stuff now. Unless I, unless I, hmm. Maybe I want to also go to the trail. Let's let's think about this. There's some places on the trail where you get wanted, or I could take a free cemetery action on the trail and maybe even get another pan and get that wanted level. Yeah. Ah, uh, they're both good options. It's getting down to the bottom of the mine gives me that one point per circled robbery and then we're gonna we're gonna assume that i'm gonna circle a lot but i'm also kind of afraid i'm gonna start running out of actions here and not be able to go down the trail enough um or rob enough uh and there is there is a mine there's two there's okay yeah we're gonna go to the trail we're gonna get the trail over so we're gonna use this heart 
and we'll just use the 10. Doesn't matter which one of these I use, but 10 gives me more options on the trail to consider. I'm not getting a good poker hand, but we'll cover that in a bit. We are going to go to the trail, and I think we are just going to take this next option here, um, which is going to give me a victory point and uh, a free visit to the cemetery. Let me give myself my free victory point right now. And then um, we are going to go to the cemetery. And I think, even though I said I want the free Badlands action, I think I'm going to do this first. Kind of in a weird position where I have not triggered a round yet, so I can kind of take advantage of this free gold. So I'm going to get myself one more gold pen. So that's kind of a lot for, for early, at least compared to other games that I've played. Um, so we're going to get another gold pen. But I do get a victory point, or not a victory point, a wanted for that. So I'm at four, because every time you dig at the graveyard, you get wanted. But because there's no spade cards out, uh, he's not going to take, Ability Kid's not taking any cards. And that is it. So now we are going to resolve uh, our poker hand. So I do not even have a single pair. So if we look at the poker results here, um, I'm not getting any bonuses. This is the first time I think I've played this where I've not gotten any points from a poker hand. Uh, I don't have a pair. I don't have a flush. I have, I have nothing. Um, so my poker hand's kind of a wash. Um, but actually, yeah, I resolved poker hand first. Then the next thing I do would be panning and working. So again, as a reminder, I have two pans and four uh, hammers. So I'm going to give myself now four money. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's right. And then I'm going to give myself two, two golds. And again, golds can be used to change the suit of cards and uh, increase the value up or down. So I might have to start doing that if I don't get good cards to go to the Badlands and to the trail a lot. I do want to go back to the town one more time to get that rifle. But other than that, I think I want to stay out of the town for the rest of the game. I want to go to the, mount a, the mine a couple times. Uh, but other than that, I think I'm going to be... I might go back to the town to get rid of some wanted level, depending on what happens. But yeah, that's my strategy right now. But we got to do one more thing. We also then have to... The sheriff has to attempt to arrest me. Now, normally, I would not know what this card is. But because I went to the sheriff's office, I found out that the sheriff is a seven of spades. And my wanted level currently is only a four. So it's not going to arrest me. So everything is all good. So um, I do not have to worry about any of that. So we are going to, what are we going to do? We are going to clean things up. And uh, we're going to start a whole new round. So first things first, we're going to get a sheriff card. We're going to get a new lineup. And here we go. Round six. All right. So we have a little bit of everything. No spades again. So I'm not sure what's happening there. I want spades, but also don't want spades. But, you know, what can we do? But this is uh, not the best hand. I might have to change the suit for this one, or I might have to see if there's a good building to go to. So first, we're going to go back to town and see what's left. Um, I have an eight or jack to use here. The jack would show me the sheriff card again. That might not be too horrible to, to, to do because then I don't have to worry about my wanted level that much for this round if I know what I'm up against. Um, but it doesn't really give me a lot of points. I don't get this bonus action anymore. Or I have an eight, I can go to the line office. I don't really like that. Although I do get uh, another bonus. Uh, graveyard if I go there and I have some money but I don't have enough money to really take advantage it's, I, it could be worth four victory points might be worth doing actually um huh I can get another free st store action but I won't have enough money to take advantage of it ah this is rough this is rough um or I could go to the mine again and I could just progress the mine do I want to do that if I progress the mine I mean, I could take either of these actions. I can get a free uh, heart action. I can get a free free spade action. Uh, I mean, I could get that rifle this turn if I if I if I go to the 
town. All right, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the town with the two and we are going to use the eight to go to the land office. And I don't really love the land office, but the land office does give me a free uh, a free um, graveyard action. So I'm going to spend my four of my hard earned money. I don't love that I'm spending this money. Oh, actually, yeah, if I do this, though, I can't. Why am I doing this? I can't afford. Oh, yeah, that's why. Because then I can come back and look at the sheriff card all the same. Yeah. So I'm going to spend four money. I'm not getting the rifle because uh, I'm not going to have enough money to. Um, I need to figure out a way to get some money, which I might do on the trail. Um, or I might start robbing some chickens and get money. Yeah, yeah I can start robbing. I get money from robbing. Okay. Uh, so that's that's my goal here. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to spend four money to draw in a two deeds at the land office like this. So I'm, I'm basically buying this, but this I can keep buying if I want to. That's going to give me four victory points. I don't know if I'm being greedy with this victory points. Maybe I should have just held on to the money and not got the victory points, but we're getting the four victory points. Um, that's going to give me a free... Um, graveyard and we're going to use the free graveyard to go back down to the cemetery and we're going to take this one which is going to give me a wanted level well now I'm at five but it's also going to give me a free town action we're going back to town with any number that we want now this is just a longer way of doing exactly what I was going to do before um, probably not the most efficient but I got four victory points out of it and then a free bonus action, so that's why we did it. Um, so now I'm going to go back to the sheriff's office. I'm going to peek at the sheriff card. So the sheriff card is an ace. I believe for the sheriff, that's bad because I believe that means it's uh, it's a one. So basically, um, I want to keep my wanted level low, <laughs> and uh, I think I need to get it down to a one. Or I need to um, bribe the sheriff and not get arrested. Um, so we are definitely going to take this free uh, lose to wanted and get my wanted level down to three. At least I know what I'm up against now. You know, I don't have to gamble, but also don't love that. Don't love my situation. And I feel like I've not done anything towards the Badlands yet. So I don't know how this is going to go. I've gone to the, I said I wasn't going to go to the town a lot. I still have to go to the town one more time to get that rifle, potentially. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So that is it. That is all everything I can do for this turn. So we're going to draw three more cards. Maybe I'll get another Jack this turn. Uh, no Jack. There is a spade now. So if I get a wanted level this turn, he's going to steal a card. Um, but I, that means I can, I can potentially go... Uh, and rob some stuff and maybe get that money I need for that gun. Um, I have no good poker cards. Um, or I could go to um, the trail and get some money and get that over with. Um, or I could go to the mine. I think the mine is off. I think I either have to decide to go to the Badlands or I have to go to the trail. Only problem with the Badlands right now is I'm definitely going to be getting wanted if I do that. And I might need that money. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the trail. We're going to take the 10 and we'll keep the king as uh, maybe I can get some a straight here. I don't know. We'll take the king with us and we're going to go to the trail because at least we're depriving him of some cards, uh, which is some points. And I think we're going to get this space, which is going to give us 12 money. Not sure how great that is, but we need the money. I'm going to be swimming in money soon. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But I might, I might need to bribe uh, or or pay for a penalty for being arrested later. So I'd rather have the money. And now I don't have to worry about the gun price. And I don't know. I can even lower my wanted level with money. So that's why we did that. Uh, what does that mean, though? That does mean um, in the trail. He's going to score this at the end of the game. We can't get that anymore. You can only move forward uh, in the trail. And that's it. No comboing. Goodness. Here. Still have not even gotten to the Badlands once. And I'm halfway through the game. So we'll see what happens. All right. We have an ace. I didn't mean to flip that, but I did. All right. So we have <coughs> all spades um, or clubs. Um, 
I could go get the rifle this turn and get it over with, but I'm probably not going to do that. I think I'm probably going to start robbing uh, with the cards that I have. Um, but I don't have good values. That's the problem. The problem is the value thing here. Um, if, well, let's look at the town. I keep saying I'm not going to go to the town, but there's all these bonus actions that matter. Um, if I go to the town, I have a five or a seven. A seven, a seven, um, what does a seven do for me? A seven gives me a Badlands action, which I can choose whatever I want, which is not bad. And I get two victory points for two money. Uh, not the greatest, but I, I do want that bonus. So that might be worth doing. Um, or a five, I already have this, so I don't need this. And I already have this, so I don't need this, but I could get another pen uh, for three money, which would give me another trail action, which would then give me another spades action. So both of them work. I think I'll probably do, yeah, I'll probably go to the town again. I keep saying I'm not gonna go to the town, but then look at me going to the town. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use my ace for the, the suit. I'll use the five for the value. I'll put this over here and let's see what this does for me. So we're going to the town. We are going to get a bonus heart action. And for three money, we are going to get another pan. So let's cross off some money. One, two, three. Um, I'm not sure if you can get that more than once, but I'm going to cross it out. I don't think you can, but I'm going to cross that out. And I'm going to get a victory point for doing that. I'm going to get another pan so I get more gold. And... Um, that's that's everything there, which is then going to give me a trail action and the trail action. I'm just going to easily take this. I'm definitely not going to skip this space, which is going to give me this. And I'm going to use that immediately um, to then go to the Badlands. And I think since I don't have a gun yet, still, I'm just going to take one of these chicken actions. Um, question is, how much do I want to gamble without that gun? So if I have plus two, these two are guaranteed. So let's just let's just do the highest one that's guaranteed to start with. I don't know what I'm going to draw in the future, but we're going to do this one. So the way this works, uh, since we haven't done this this whole game, even though it's the most important spot on the map, um, you basically are going to reveal a card. That's the robbery card. Uh, if the target is equal to or greater, so this target is a three. I'm robbing a chicken. If the value is three. Uh, it's equal to or Raider, wait, it's the target. Wait, I forgot how this works. I think I'm saying it backwards. Yeah, so I think I said it right, but I'm swapping the term. I'm gonna draw a robbery card. If that card is equal to or greater than the target, which is a three. So basically if I draw a three or higher, um, I succeed at robbing. And if I succeed, I get all the things. Uh, so I'm gonna circle this, maybe it's easier to see. Uh, if I, I get all the things, uh, I get a wanted level, but because I have the bandit, this right here, I, I don't get a one in level. Uh, I, I basically get one less, so I'll get nothing. I'll get two victory points and two money. Um, but because I have a gun, I get to add two to whatever that card is. So even if I draw an ace, uh, I'm guaranteed to succeed here. So in this particular one, there's really no stakes, but I am going to reveal a card. It's a king, which is really high. Uh, so yeah, I would have succeeded even without the gun. That would have been a great one to like pick the hardest one, but I did not do that, so oh well. So because of that, I succeed, and I basically am not getting a wanted level, but I am gonna get two victory points and two money for that. So let's give myself the rewards for robbing, uh, which one, two, and um, one, two. All right, so we've denied Billy the Kid some points. We've gotten some points. Kind of wish I went, I, I, I went bigger on that, but oh well. I did not know I was going to be drawing a, a king. That's always how it works. Um, all right, so that is it for all the combos that I have. Um, I did that, I did that, yep. So that is the end of that turn. So let's get back to the cards. Let's discard this. I still do not have a good poker hand. So let's see if maybe I can get a better poker hand going. All right, I have 
seven seven two so i could pair a seven at least and get a good poker hand here depending on what i have so there's a spade so if i get a wanted level this time uh he will steal a card uh so how can i get around that um and i yeah how can i get around that i don't think i have an, like, any way to get around that i could go to the trail get some gold i could get the gun that's another thing that i could do um on from the trail uh but i only have a seven so i'd have to use a gold to be able to do anything interesting there uh i could go to the mines and i can combo a trail ability there that's something that i could do i still have to worry about my wanted level too um so let's see i think i'm gonna use the mine and i think we are going to use the two because i want i want i want to use the seven but i want a seven in my poker hand um to, to get some extra points and money so we'll use the two even though i have the pickaxes i can only make that a four so i'm forced to go down the badlands uh direction here um but that's gonna let me do a combo gotta take advantage of all these combos I'm going to get a free Badlands action and a free gold. Uh, so let's do that. Let's give myself the free gold right now. And then uh, we're going to go to the Badlands and we are going to, um, we'll do the harder chicken and, and hope for the best. Let's get the harder chicken out of the way. No, let's do the easier chicken. Let's not risk it. I might still get the gun and might be able to guarantee that. So let's just get this over with because I'm going to want this this bonus one way or the other anyway. Um, so no matter what card I pull, let's see what I pull. Why well, should be really high again? It's a three. Oh, look at that, really low. But no matter what I pull, um, I succeed. And uh, that means I'm going to be getting a uh, wanted symbol. I'm not getting the wanted symbol. That's why I went there. Because I have a spade. I don't want him to steal any cards. Uh, at some point he's going to steal cards though. I've, I've been good so far preventing it, but, um, yeah. Um, so I get two victory points and I get a money from that chicken. So we're going to give myself one money, two more victory points. Uh, and is there anything else that happens? No, that's it. So we are now on our 10th, um, 10th round. I don't know how this is going to play out. Uh, all right, so I could get a two pair if I use this 10 in the poker hand. Um, or I could go to the trail. I don't have the horse yet, so if I go to the trail, I'd have to use the queen. Or I could go to the Badlands, but if I go to the Badlands, uh, he's going to steal a card. So I think we are going to do the following. I think we're going to go to the trail with the queen. We're going to give ourselves the 10 of hearts. Um, we are going to go to the trail and I have to decide, do I want, uh, do I want to take a free town action and go get that rifle or do I want to get a bunch of gold to be able to do more spades actions this next round? Um, cause the hope is you draw stuff that's not spades. Actually, no, cause if you modify it to a spade, then he gets the seal card anyway. I mean, either way he's supposed to be stealing cards. So I think we're going to just uh, get this free club action. We're going to go here. We're going to go get that rifle so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, which means that we can't do this anymore. We can't do this. We're going to go to the town. We're going to get the rifle. It's going to cost four money. We have the money to pay for it. Um, let's go to our cash. One, two, three, four. Let's give ourselves the rifles. So now we're at plus four for all these Badland actions and hope that we can, I don't know, get real lucky moving forward. Um, all right. So now we get plus four to that. And that is it for my cards, right? No more combos. Let's cross that off so we remember that we did it. Um, yeah, I feel like I now need to like just Badlands action every chance I get. Um, all right, so we are going to end this 
And we're going to do our poker phase. So we have a pair of tens. Oh, we have a two pair. That's right. We have a pair of tens and a pair of seven. So a two pair is going to give us three money and two victory points. Not bad. Could be better, but we'll take it. Uh, one, two, and then uh, two victory points, right? Did I say two and two? No, three money and two victory points. One, two. Okay. Um, then we are going to pad and work. I have three pants and four uh, hammers. So we're going to get four more money. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to do one, two, three gold. And then we're going to do the sheriff. Now we know the sheriff is a three um, or it's an ace. So we're, we're, we know we're definitely going to get arrested unless we either bribe the sheriff or we can just pay the penalty of 14 money. 14 money is almost all of my money. Um, so I think since we have a pretty low wanted level, we're going to pay the sheriff in gold. Um, so let's go back down here and just pay the sheriff in gold. One, two, three. And that means that uh, I do not have to reveal the card. Uh, he's not going to arrest me, um, but he would if I revealed the card. But because we paid him off in gold, he does nothing. And all right, so we're going to go to the next round. We're going to clear up the cards. We're going to shuffle them and we're going to hope that I can, I don't know, score a lot of points and make them not score a lot of points. All right, so there is a spade. So I think now is the time where you're going to start stealing a lot of cards. I've done good so far, but I do have to start going to the Badlands. Um, so let's see what I can do here. Um, well, I have a heart, heart for the trail. I'm not going to do the trail yet. I have a club. What can I do with that? I don't want to do anything with that. I don't think I keep saying I don't want to go to the town, but then I end up going to the town. Um, I yeah, I'm going to go to the Badlands. I have a five or a six. Um, I think we're just going to go for the six cow um, and hope for the best. I probably should zoom in. Uh, so since we're going for the six cow, I'm going to get rid of my five card. So I have a ten. So yeah, he's definitely going to be stealing a card. Um, I don't really have a choice. I think he's just going to, he's definitely going to steal at least like five cards, maybe less if I can, if I can get lucky on some combos. Um, so we got to pull a card as the robbery card. Let's see what we get a four and I have the gun. So that's going to make that card an eight An eight is greater than a six. So I successfully rob, um, this cow i'm not really sure cattle i'm stealing cattle is that what i'm doing um so i'm getting one wanted for that four victory points and three money uh so only one wanted for that um so where's my wanted level there we go one wanted uh what did i say four victory points one two three four and um three money and i failed um I would gain half of the wanted. Uh, not sure if that rounds up or down when you have the, the, the face mask, the, the bandana, um, but I would get no, oh no, you get all the wanted no matter what, you get half the victory points and no money. That's what, that's what happens. <coughs> so you always get the wanted. All right. Um, there's no comboing happening yet. So that is it. So we only have four more turns. I feel like, I feel like I'm not going to have enough to do what I want to do. I keep thinking I have enough, but then I don't. Um, so let's see what cards I get. I have a couple more combos that I can do. I still have two mine combos. I still have a trail combo. Um, I have two town Badlands combos. So, all right. So let's see. I can either go to uh, the mine or I can go to the trail or I can spend two gold and um, do some other stuff. And I might do that this turn. This might be the turn to change the suit. Well, no, if I change the suit, that's right. It changes it. It triggers this thing. I always think that when you change the suit, it doesn't, <coughs> but it does. Um, all right. So if I if I don't change the suit, though, then no matter what, I can't get to the Badlands this turn. 
as I have no bonus combos that get me back to the town unless I go to the graveyard. Do I have a way to go to the graveyard? I do. I do. Huh, okay. Or maybe I do this. Maybe I don't go to the Badlands and I do one more ridiculous stupid turn. One, two, three, four, one, two, okay. Yeah, I guess we do one more stupid turn. Maybe I go to the town? Or we can get rid of that wanted level. Ah, so, so frustrating. Um, uh, all right, so I have no good cards for my poker hand. I have all these combos that I want to do and I can't find a way to do them all. That's the problem here. I'm so focused on that mine to get the bonus, but I'm not even going to the Badlands enough to make to make use of it. Um, so maybe I do this. Maybe I pay two gold. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, now, now I'm thinking outside the box here. I'm going to pay two gold to turn one of those suits into a club. That's the play, I think. Um, I'm going back to the town, even though I said that's not what I want to do. But here's my reasoning. I can go back to the town. I can take this bonus. Oops. I can take this bonus right here. I can pay two gold or two money. You just get two victory points at the end of the game. So let's do that. Why not? One, two. So. I probably won't be coming back to this spot, but two victory points is two victory points. And then that's going to get me a Badlands bonus. Now I can go to the Badlands. I can finish this chicken right here. I don't have any spades in my lineup still. So actually I got to decide what cards I want to do. I'm going to keep the heart and I'll just turn. Um, how did I do what I wanted to do? I needed a seven to be able to do that. I just like totally, totally. <laughs> messed up there. Hold on. Let's back it up. Can I back this up? Maybe I can't do any of that. I thought I could do that, but I didn't look at the values of my cards. I have a jack, I have a queen, and I have a two. None of those are a seven. One of them is a king. All right, so we'll do that. Um, Did I end up erasing the two gold? Let's see. Okay, I did that. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing I said. We're just going to do it differently. Two gold. We're going to change the jack to a club. We're going to keep the queen. We're going to plop this two down. Uh, maybe I can get a heart um, flush going there. Probably not, but we can dream. We're going to use one more gold. Whoops. One more gold to change the queen to a king. That means we can go to this town and we're going to get this bonus. Whoops. You can tell I'm slowing down now with my thought process. We'll spend, um, I don't know, two gold. You get two more victory points. Not really sure. I'll do three gold. So I marked off three gold. Sorry, you didn't see it. To get three victory points. Watch me regret that decision later. But at least I get to use that bonus. I'm keeping the other gold in case I need to change some cards. Um... And then now we can take a bonus action to go to the Badlands. We're going to get this chicken right here. This chicken, we need a four. So let's let's draw a card. I draw a nine, so we're good. Um, I got no spades in the lineup. So that's going to give me two victory points. No wanted level. Uh, two victory points, no wanted level, and three money. So... Victory point, victory point, and three monies. Let's go back to our monies. One, two, three. And that's going to give us another combo to go to the graveyard for free. So we'll do that now. Which is going to let us circle this one, which we're going to get a wanted level for. But then we're going to get a, another Badlands. Um, and now I have to decide, do I want to go big and just go for the king? I mean, I'm going to get a lot of wanted levels now, but I think that's okay. The goal here now is to get a heart combo. 
So I got to do it at some point, right? So let's just do it. Let's go for the king. So basically, whoops, that's a horribly drawn thing. I'm probably not going to get the victory points on this. Um, so I need a what, what's I need a, a 10 or better, nine or better, nine, 10, jack, queen, king. I need a nine. So if I were to try on the last card, I would have been good here. So we need a nine or better on this card. We're probably going to fail it. I feel like we're going to fail it. Yeah, we got a low card. I would have shown the last card first, would have been good, um, but that's okay, that's okay. We get four victory points for trying. We don't get the money, um, but we still get three victory, uh, we still get four wanted. So we are going to give ourselves four wanted. One, two, three, four. We get half the victory points for trying, and we get none of the money. Okay, um, so that's it, that's it for combos. So that's it for these cards. We are going to draw. We have three more rounds. Whoops. We got a six of hearts, a three of hearts, and a ten of clubs. So no spades again. Um, so I mean we can do we can do it again. We can do it again. It's probably what we're gonna do. We'll use the ten. We'll use the six. We'll bring over this three. We have three hearts. Maybe we'll get the flush. Who knows? Uh, we'll use one gold. We'll use one gold. To get rid of uh, to make uh, that six a seven, which means we're going to the town. I keep saying I'm not going to go to the town, but look at me keeping I keep going to the town. Now we'll pay our two gold um, to get this victory point bonus at the end of the game, which is here. Now we get two points at the end of the game, um, and now we get our last free spade bonus. I don't think there's any more ways to get spade combos anymore. I think this is it. But he's not going to get to steal a card, and we're just going to go for the next highest. The worst case, we'll get four victory points out of it. Um, so let us do that. Let's draw a card. Now an eight or better, I think, is good. We'll do the math if I draw something close. It's a two. So another really low card. So we are failing that again. We are a bad outlaw. We do all this work, and we're, we're choosing all the wrong times to draw. So. We're going to get four wanted. One, two, three, four. We are going to get um, four victory points for trying and none of the money. But one more now we can combo into the trail. We can do some stuff and we're, we're denying him points, which is which is what we want. We did not get to try any cards because of that. And that's it. So now we have to hope for spades in our cards. We only have two more rounds left, so hopefully we can make this all work out. There's all the spades. Unfortunately, I did not get a heart, but I am going to get at least a pair probably because I think I'm just going to do a six and a queen for this one. Pretty easy turn. Um, I'm going to take the spades, make the queen my value. We're going to go straight here. We're going to go after the jack train. May we succeed in this robbery. One of these big robberies would be great. We're just going to give us this. Let us draw a card. It's a king. Look at that. We finally succeeded. So now we're getting the, the big money and the big points. So we are getting um, four more wanted. We have a lot of wanted going on right now. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh, actually, I've kind of cheated myself a little bit. I forget I get one last each turn. I think for all three of these, I gave myself one too many. I'm not, I know I definitely did on the last one. I'm not sure about the first one. So we'll, we'll lower it by two. I do forgot when I rob, I get one less. I've been cheating myself. I might I might actually have one less, but I, I don't know for sure for the king if I only gave myself three or four. Um, I feel like I gave myself four. Should be pretty easy to math out, but we'll, we'll just leave it like this. If one one level makes or breaks this game, I'll go look at the tape. Um, but I got my one level. I got eight victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm getting three money. Only three money for this. So I failed on the, the, the one that does not give us a lot of money. One, two, three. But that is going to give us a free, um, free trail action. Let's go to the trail. And we are definitely just going to take this one. Which is going to give us six less wanted. Uh, so we're going to go to our wanted level and get rid of some wanted. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our wanted level is a nine right now. Um, not too bad. 
And then that is it for combos again. And um, I don't know, we might have we might have made some mistakes here. We might not be able to get to that bottom mine action now. It might be one action too short, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, we're on our last card. Uh, we did get wanted. He steals a card. He's stealing a card for the first time. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, how do I do that? I forget how this works. That's right. Put it there. If I did deal, I'm afraid to hit this button. We're just going to do this. All right. He has one card. I forget how I how I set that up. I'm afraid I'm going to mess up the whole setup if I press the wrong button. He has one card so far because uh, he stole. I don't think I've cheated any other time, but he's just stolen one card. And again, if I did, let me know in the comments. All right. So last round. One, two, three. So I could get a two pair, um, but I probably want this. This is my action. Um, maybe not. I could get four victory points, six victory points and some wanted six victory points. Three. <sighs> maybe I just go to the trail or maybe I go to the mine with these cards. But no. If I do that, I don't get a two pair. So is there a way I can make this happen without doing that? All these values and symbols are the opposite of what I want. If I go to the trail, if I go to the mine, um, I want a five through a seven so I can get an additional mine action. Um, I go to, I mean, I could just use two gold, but Two golds of victory point at the end. Is it worth doing that? Or I could just go to the Badlands and try to steal a cow and get victory points that way. Four victory points, five money, and only one wanted. It's either six victory points and three wanted, um, which means I can't. Uh, this is all bad. Or I change the suit completely to something else, but I don't see any good, good opportunities. Oh, actually, I do. I do see a good opportunity. Keep saying I'm not going to go to the town, but I might go to the town? Question mark. Um, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend two gold. I don't like this. It feels like I've messed up. It feels like I might lose, but I don't know. But I feel like I'm being wise here. We're going to use two gold. You have my heart on gold to turn one of my cards to a club. We will turn the king into a club. We will keep the two and put the five into our poker hand. With one more gold, we're going to turn this two into a ace. So we got to get rid of one more gold. That's going to let us go to the town. We're going to go here. And um, I don't know both of these really aren't that helpful for us. Um, no, yeah, I'm gonna change not the king. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, that does change things a lot actually. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Um, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. If I get wanted, I get a wanted level this turn. Ugh. I thought I had this solved. All right, I'm going to use two more gold. Eight. I'm going to use two more gold to turn the two. No, I can't. I don't think I can do that. I had a plan. But my plan was ruined. All right, we're going to undo that. We're going to undo what was the other thing that I did. All right, let's pull this at what I had, I had a three of hearts, right? Where's the three of spades? No. Oh, no. What did I have up here at a five of diamonds? I believe it was. <sighs> All right, I'm going to change this two of spades to a diamonds. That's what we're going to do. Same same concept. Two of spades to a diamond. We're going to get rid of 
Um, two gold. That spades is a diamond, which means that Billy the Kid will not steal any cards if I get a wand and level. And we're going to use this five of diamonds. Oh yeah, but again, I, then I don't get the poker hand. Damn it, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, no, that's fine. No, it's not fine. I want one more. I want three more points there. Then the four. But a two pair gives me three and two. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna have to. We're gonna not get a good poker hand. It's fine. The difference of one victory point. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna do. Ah, such a long turn. Um, I thought this would play faster, but again, I'm very slow. Turning the two of spades into a diamonds. We use the five of diamonds. We're gonna modify. We don't even need the modifier. We're just gonna use the five as the value. We're gonna get this. Which is going to give us one of our golds back. Going to give us a hard action. Which is going to let us go here. Actually, I'm going to do that. Um, which is going to let us go here. Which is going to give us this diamond action. Which is going to let us go back to the mines. And we can take any action we want. And we're just going to take this one. Uh, and get four more victory points. In one wanted level. But because there's no spades. Um, he's not stealing a card. But we are getting four victory points out of it. And that's it. There's no more comboing. Nothing else I can do. So now we are just going to finish the game and calculate everything up and see how I did. Uh, I thought I would do better, but this might not be that good after all. Um, well, let's see. We won't know until the final score. Uh, so first we're going to do our poker hand. I just got a pair. I almost had a, a flush, which would have been really good. Um, a flush would have given us five victory points and six money, but a single pair gives us one victory point and two money. So let's give ourselves our one victory points and our two money. One, two. And then um, we're going to pan and work. Pan and work is going to give me four more money. Uh, and then we... I don't know why this is... This, I think I should have given myself a... Uh, all right, we'll just do it this way. I think I meant to give myself the gold from the uh, from that. Hopefully that's what that's about. Um, and then one victory point, right? That's what I said. Ah, did I give myself the victory point? I don't think I did. All right. Let's hope I did not just cheat there. Lost track of thinking. All right. Oh, wait. We were doing pen and work. Um, I have to give myself the gold now. That's what we have to do. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we're going to do the sheriff card. Uh, so I have a one in level of seven, eight, nine of 10. So I never forget. I never put a sheriff card to the side. Whoops. Um, so kind of cheat there, but I guess it doesn't really matter if I, if I would have done it before or after. Um, but yeah, we have a sheriff card. I did not get to peek at it. So I don't know what this is. Um, I do not have enough gold to, to bribe the sheriff. I would need 10 gold to bribe. So I'm going to reveal it. It's a five. A five is lower than my water level, so I get arrested. Um, I can either pay eight victory points or I can pay 18 money. I'm going to pay the 18 money since I have it. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, yeah, and had I you know, grab the sheriff card from the beginning. It might have been a different outcome, but it's still random. Random's random, so not that big of a deal. And that's it. We're going to calculate everything now. So let's zoom back out and see how we did. Um, so first things first. Um, wait, what is that? Yeah, that's not what we wanted. We wanted to do this. Ooh, there we go. All right. So we have Billy the Kid. He likes the Badlands. So let's, let's mark off all the spaces that I did not get in this game um first things first uh this one 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 i should probably do a different color for this let's let's hide let's hide billy for a second and then we didn't get this one two three four five six all right so let's let's calculate all this um badlands I did not get five spots, so he scores 20. Whoops. Uh, let's do it like this. There we go. 20 points. Um, the trail. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to score 18. 
if I'm playing on easy, I would stop the scoring tally now. Um, it's not looking very good for me, though, that's for sure. Uh, I feel like he already beat me, unless there's something that I'm missing, because I don't think I have... I don't know. We'll go through it in a second. Um, the mine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's got 16. And the town, he has... Um, one, two, three, four, five, five points. And he only stole one card, um, so that's good. And then he's getting five because of this. And I can either give him five or subtract five from mine. We'll subtract five from mine. Um, so his total for hard is going to be, and I do math, let's see. 67. Um, 67 for hard or for normal 62 um, or for easy 46 if my math is correct so let's calculate my score now and see how we did um, so I'm gonna get one point for every four uh, money I have so four so two I'm going to get um, one point for every two gold, so three. Not looking good. Two points for my end of game scoring. I didn't get this one. I didn't get this. I did get this. That's the only one that I got. Um, yeah, so my score is not looking good. And I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 50, 45. Did much better my last game, which gives me a final score of 52. Um, or because I got the outskirt stuff, technically it's minus five. So technically it's a, uh, what is that? A 47? Oof. I don't know. I don't know where I went wrong. I think failing those trains hurt me a little bit. That was another eight points right there. I think I said I wasn't going to the town and I went there a little bit too much. Um, this would have been another seven points here. But anyway, let's let's compare. So I have 47 points. So I would have beaten Billy the Kid on easy only. Yikes. Um, that's assuming that my math is correct and I have not cheated myself of points, um, which could easily have happened. Um, I put a reminder to use this. Uh, that's what you're seeing here. Where is it? Um, if you used an outskirt post, it's supposed to say negative five, but um, we don't need that, I guess. Let's hide that and let's hide that. There we go. So yeah, um, I beat Billy the Kid on easy. Uh, I thought this was gonna go a little bit better. Oh, you know what? I cheated myself out of my character power. Well, that was silly. Yeah, that was really silly. Had I used my character power, I could have definitely gotten the extra mine action um potentially um but he probably would have stolen more cards so yeah i don't know if it would have actually paid off um i would have had more wanted um but i would have had more money i don't know totally forgot i have the the this uh this power to once per game uh use my spade action so now i feel silly um I mean, I could do it right now and I could get myself another six victory points, but it still doesn't get me to normal. If I did it one more time, let's see. One more time would have denied him four points. I would have gotten potentially six points, seven, eight. I don't know, it would have been a lot closer. That one character power, I mean, I lost, I gave him five points for that character power uh, just for having it. So yeah, I definitely, uh, silly me. I don't know. I guess we can simulate it right now, right? Um, let me... Yeah, I can't really simulate it. I would have made different choices. I would have I would have completed this middle cow line, I think. I probably would have completed this middle cow line for eight victory points. Plus, that would have denied him another, another eight victory points. That would have been 16. You know, probably would have put me in the 50-something range. 
he probably would have stolen one more card because I, I could have used that power during that turn where I was like denying all of the extra cards. The one in minus three. I don't know. I probably still wouldn't have beat him on hard. Uh, but this is a reminder. Make sure you use your character card. Uh, I should probably do a better job of that next time. Anyway, this is Flip Town. Uh, it was fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Still mad at myself for forgetting to use that one power. This is a very tight point game. So that one power changes a lot. Um, and I could have started with less wanted um, if I didn't choose the character card. If I played against the, the cow bot without the character card, that would have changed things because then I wouldn't have had to get what I wanted. I might not have gone to the sheriff's office. Twice. I don't know. <sighs> it is what it is. I like this game, though. I'm definitely going to play it a few more times. Anyway, I'll see you later. This is Wackasm.